Hello. Hello. Hey, how are you? I'm fine. And you? Excellent. It, but it, but it's 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 very difficult for me to hear you. Why? I don't know. Your volume is extremely low. My volume. Oh, there. That's better. Now I can hear you much better. Okay. Love. Okay. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Now. All right. Very good. All right. I'm sorry. What is your name? Uh, my name is Suleiman. Suleiman. All right. Nice. Yeah. To meet you, Suleiman. My name is Dan. Dan. Nice to meet you. All right. Where are you from, Suleiman? I'm from Turkey. Oh, from Turkey. Where? From Istanbul, Ankara. Ankara. From Ankara. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Have All right. And, sorry. Have you ever been? No, no, not even close. I've I've only been in uh, in North America. I've never been even close to to, to anywhere in Turkey. Uh, Europe? No, never been in Europe. No, only um. I'm from Canada. I'm Canadian, and I live in Mexico. And I've been in the United States, so I've only been in those three countries: United States, Canada, Mexico, North America. I understand. Good locations. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's it's. No, I mean that's a. Those are, you know, in the in the range of places that I've been. It's a big, big, uh, a big, big area of space. It's you know bigger than Europe. Of course. Yeah. Um, yeah, Europe has has uh, a lot of countries, but it's in a pretty small area. Yeah. And in yeah. North America, it's a big, big area, but only three countries. Yeah. Third country, Mexico. Uh, sorry. Uh, on you say only three countries. Yeah. Uh, co where, uh, Colombia, where is from? No, Colombia South America. Is South America. Colombia uh, is at the the top, like the north. It's it's like the furthest north country of South America. I understand. Okay. Yeah. So it, it is above the equator. Colombia is above the equator. Above the above north of the uh, equator. Above. Okay. Above. It's yeah. So you would say like I know, I know that word. Uh, north of the Ecuador. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So Colombia, it's like um, Canada is furthest north, and then the United States, and then Mexico. That's what the, what they call North America. Yeah. I and know. then you've got all those those small countries. Um, which they call South America, or sorry, Cent Panama. Uh, uh, yeah, that that. Yep, that's called Central America. That's um, uh, Panama, Costa Rica, Nicaragua, Guatemala, Honduras, Belize, El Salvador. I think those seven countries is Central America, and then moving on, then you've got South America, which is Colombia, Venezuela, Peru, under Argentina. Mexico. Right. No, Mexico. Mexico is part of North America. At least ge geographically, geographically, Mexico uh, is in North America. Uh, which country uh, border uh, have border with Mexico from the uh, north? Um, United States in the north. No, and no. And in 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 the uh -huh. south, Guatemala and Belize. Uh, Guatemala, okay. Guatemala and Belize, yep. Belize. Uh, is that all? Hold on, let me check. I think only Guatemala and Belize. I I don't think Honduras is. Let me check. I think I think just those two countries in the south of Mexico. Um, yeah, just Guatemala and Belize. Belize, I didn't. Uh, I know. Belize is a, a very very well, yeah, a pretty small country. Belize. Can you write like this, Belize? Never, never heard. No, it's a, it's a very small country. Belize. And I think the official language in Belize is um, is English. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I think it used to be part of Britain. 
let me let me check about Belize. What languages? I whoops. I guess I I think they they speak Spanish and English. Mm -hmm. But I think um. Uh, uh, Belize Belize from uh, middle middle uh, uh, or Central America. Yeah, yeah, it's in Central America. Yeah, no, this yeah. says official languages. The official language is English, yes. But also um, Spanish is spoken Spanish. there. Officially, officially, Belize is English. Belize is English. Uh, their spoken languages, right? Sp Spanish, Garifuna, Maya. Yeah, Maya. Maya is an old, old, very old, ancient language. Yeah, Maya. I know. Uh, I I know a little information about Maya. Especially, I know them from Peru. Uh, is it, uh, right, Peru. No, no, Peru? not Peru. Not Peru. Uh, Peru. Uh, Machu, Machu, Machu Picchu. Machu, Machu Picchu. Picchu, yeah, Machu Picchu yeah. is in Peru, yeah. Uh, the Maya, uh, ancient peoples, uh, starting, start, starts, started to uh, garden, uh, make garden and make a small house in Machu Picchu. Well, except in, in Machu Picchu, it was, or in Peru, it was the Inca, the people Inca. were Inca. Uh, yeah, okay. Maya, Maya is um, Mexico, Guatemala, uh, maybe Belize. Okay, I confuse. Okay, but yeah, Maya, Maya, in like here in Mexico, there are several big, really, really big and very famous and very beautiful um, Maya uh, archaeological I want, sites. I want to travel that Machu Picchu. Yeah, I think um, it's getting difficult to visit there because it's getting, they're getting so many, it's getting so popular that they, there's not enough, I think now that they, they're concerned about um, damage because there are so many people there. So I think they're, they're trying to, yeah. I like, I think now they only allow something like, I don't know, a hundred people a day or 200 a day or something like that. Because yeah. it's just too many people. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. And there's a, a very famous site in Mexico um called Chichen Itza. Chichen Itza. And that's also Maya. And there's another one called Palenque. Palenque. Mm -hmm. Which is another uh, archaeological site. And in um what is the other one called? Ah, I think Ek Palem, I think. I think that's another one. These are these are like the really wow. famous Maya sites. Oh, and, oh, and no, no, there are more. There's also Tulum, whoops, Tulum, Tulum. Um, what else, ah, Koba. These are the really famous ones. I, I never heard them. I will uh, search after our lesson. Yep, and uh, what's the other one? What's the other one, a really cool one that I went to? Um, I don't know, but there are many. There are there's and there there are beautiful, beautiful places. Yeah. Uh, I also I wonder to see a uh, Wisconsin. Where Wisconsin? Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Uh, uh, there there is a town. Uh, Oshkosh. Oshkosh. I, you 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 can't believe this. Well, let, let me let me show you something. I can't believe it. I you're this is this is like the the most amazing coincidence. Just before you called, when I was um I I had finished a call and I had a couple of minutes um before you called. Yeah. And if you see at the at the top of my actually I look at I I have this message unread. Do you see yeah, this girl Andrea yeah. Mulligan? Yeah. Now you can see I was I was messaging with her. I haven't even read her message. There's her message. She's from Wisconsin. Yeah. And she's coming here to Mexico. I you can see I was messaging with her right, that yeah. she's she's coming to um you can see she's going to Cancun, which is in Cancun? Mexico. Hmm. Um wow, I can't believe that. Yeah, she's from Wisconsin, not Oshkosh. She's okay. from a place, she's a friend of mine. And she's from a place called 
Beaver Dam, Wisconsin. Beaver Dam. Hmm. That's where uh, she's. I from. wonder. I wonder. I wonder Oshkosh because of uh, ex, uh, Homebuild Experimental Aircraft Festival. Oh, sorry, what's it called? Uh, Experiment Homebuild Aircraft Festival. An aircraft festival, okay. Yeah. Why are you are you a pilot or do you like planes or, no, or, or? Uh, I like aviation, I'm helicopter mechanic. Oh oh a helicopter mechanic. Yeah, but I don't I don't like helicopters, I like planes. <laughs> okay. Uh, I I love aviation. Okay. Ah all right. I, I talked to a guy earlier today from Saudi Arabia. And he's an aircraft aircraft technician. Yeah, um, I am. I, yeah, I'm not sure exactly what uh, if if he works more on like planes or helicopters or what, but but he said he's a, an aircraft uh, aircraft technician. Aircraft maintenance engineer. You can. Say. Okay, is that what you are? Sorry. Is that what you are? Is that your job, an aircraft maintenance? And, yeah, exactly. Engineer. Uh, okay. But Okay. I All right, but I you work. but you focus on your your focus is on helicopters. Yeah, I work on helicopters, uh, but uh, I like planes. Okay, okay. Well, why did you choose helicopters? I didn't choose. Uh, I uh, attempt. I attempt to uh, helicopters uh, fleet. Okay. All right. Now, is there is there? And then maybe this is a stupid question. Obviously, is that there's a difference, but is it a big difference between helicopters and planes? Yeah. For what Tec uh, techniques? Well, like, like yeah, like in terms of being yeah, in terms of being a mechanic. Like obviously, uh, I mean, even within planes, like uh, every plane is different. Uh, um, for a mechanic. Uh, uh, the difference uh, are, uh, for example, vibration, especially, and uh, loud sounds, uh, uh, lots of uh, lots of uh, maintenance area and small area. But uh, on planes, uh, you can see everything, and easily you can. Uh, achieve uh, where you will maintenance uh, and uh, big area okay any vibration and uh, uh, more speed ah okay ah, all right that's pretty good and and how how do you have a lot of experience doing yeah. this uh, nine years. Oh yeah, a long time. Yeah. Uh, All right. Now, nine, now, why don't you why don't you switch to planes? If you you said you like planes. Yeah, I like planes. So okay. Now, I, do you mean do you mean as a as a mechanic or a technician? Yeah, mechanic. Uh huh. Okay. Or you mean you just think planes are more interesting in general? Uh, uh, as a as a hobby, uh, I I fly uh, radio control planes, model mm. planes. Uh, okay. Also, I want to be a pilot. Uh, now mm. uh, this is my last year uh, as a mechanical engineering student. Uh, after graduation, I don't know uh, will I work as a uh, as a mechanical engineer. Or uh, I don't know. Uh, I can start a, a flight school to be a pilot, maybe commercial pilot. Pilot. Okay. Oh, all right. That's that's pretty good. Yeah. All right. I I love. Um, I don't know if this is too general to say, but I, I think I love aviation. Really. Like, like, well, like, just it's it's amazing to. I always like to watch. Uh, you know, I don't I don't really look for them, but whenever I'm, you know, checking the channels and I see something about um, like aviation or or um, 
planes or even, you know, sometimes I see like documentaries that kind of like not documentaries, but like investigative, investigative mm -hmm. shows like recreating plane crashes. And, you know, yeah. they, they, they try to recreate what happened and which, try to which channel? Uh, Discovery like Science. like on Discovery Channel or like yeah. Nat Geo or something like that. There's yeah. a show called um, I think it's called um, in English it's something like Seconds Before Disaster or yeah. Minutes Before Disaster or something like that. And they they take um, you know plane crashes and they kind of recreate them um, and they try to determine what happened.